Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Lisette and guys, I did it. I finished the first row. <laughs> and guys, this actually is my second video that I'm taping of this result because the first one I was editing it and the sound was really really bad. I think it was static or something like that but hopefully <laughs> this second take will go better and I'll be able to actually show you that I have finished the first row. I'm so happy. Okay guys, last time I showed you this part that was really confetti heavy. Confetti is just a lot of color changes in a small area. If you're new, you're like, okay, what am I looking at? I'm doing a cross stitch conversion, which means that I'm taking a cross stitch pattern and I'm turning it into a diamond painting on a blank canvas. Um, and maybe if you're new, it's better to start at the beginning. So I'll put a link to the playlist over there so you can follow the entire project. This is the update for this part. Um, I really love the way that the wing is turning out. It's really beautiful. This part was quite confetti heavy as well. Uh, not as much as this though. Um, in this one, as I have told you last time, I did just, well, one or two or three grids a day. And a grid, I'll show you. A grid is just a 10 by 10. So I did like, for instance, these two, and then I put this away and worked on another project. For the last page, I had, well, the same idea because I had been doing that till, well, that part. Um, but guys, <laughs> I just wasn't feeling it. So what I did is I put the entire project away for, well, a couple of, weeks I think two or three maybe even um, and I worked on other projects I did my three in one projects um, Never TT and I am brave and I really enjoyed doing that and after I finished those I was like okay I want to get back to my mini lucky conversion um, and actually when I had taken that break and I started back up I didn't just do two or three grids a day. No, I did, well, maybe six or seven at a time. And that way I finished that one uh, actually pretty quickly when, once I dedicated some time to it. So that was a completely different approach and it worked. And now I'm really excited because now I get to start here. And why here? Well, I'll show you in the pattern. Also, in case you're wondering, don't you use the Pattern Keeper app? No, I don't. I work on the paper version. Um, I'll show you because it comes with chart instructions. Look, and they say you need to follow this um, pattern that that's the way the pages are printed so I did the first row and now I'm going to start here so the next page is going to be this part and that corresponds with oh she's so pretty this part so underneath the rainbow and it's quite a lot of color changes as well not as much as in here but still um, and then after I finish this page, I get to the part with her face. So I get to that part. So I'm really uh, <laughs> motivated to get this part done so that I can start on her face. And well, now I'm in a sort of a flow with this project. So I'm just going to continue. Maybe I'm um, going to do it the same way that I did it with that page. Or maybe I'm just going to do two or three grids at a time. I don't know. I'm just going with the way it feels to me. Um, I really think taking a break uh, for a minute was, was good for me. Guys, this project um, needs focus because you need to count all the time. Just like with cross stitch. You need to pay attention. Um, 
and for me the way to focus on this for me it's best to work on it in the morning uh, because when I try to do this in the evening when I'm tired well <laughs> I might uh, end up with uh, a Randall Spangler <laughs> uh, motive <laughs> because I'm not paying attention to where I place the drills instead of a Josephine wall no I'm just kidding but um, you just need to focus and I really love the way that it's turning out I haven't had any more uh, running out of drills because as you may know from from earlier videos at one part I already ran out of a certain color in the first row uh, but in the last page I didn't have that problem at all thank god um, popping drills yes occasionally that still happens um, I'm not paying that much attention to it now I'm just going to continue because I want to finish the entire project first and then I'm going to spend a day two days a week <laughs> a month I don't know on um, replacing the missing drills uh, even when I run out of a color I can fill that one up as well I don't know yet and the difficulty is that you don't have a symbol on your canvas so that you immediately know which color it is no I need to trace it back <laughs> so that will be a whole challenge in and of itself but I'll take you along for the ride I know that Katie of Diamonds and Washi she's doing an epic conversion um, she's already sealing her diamond painting going along the way uh that's also um, a great idea i think i'm i'm not doing that she's using different drills and uh, a different canvas than i am but i think it's weird that we both run into the same problem um so well may, i think her um take on it is more practical um, and she's also using uh, pattern keeper so if you're interested to see what that uh, works how that works go check out her project but you probably already are but I'll leave a link to her project in the description below um, but I'm going to do it this way um, and just make a challenge of it it's not because as you can see right now if you look at it like this you don't even see that there are popping drills uh, but if you go up close you can see there are a couple of them missing I really can't wait to get started on the next uh, page and guys the what this project feels like once you have finished a page it feels like you have finished it's the same rush or the same excitement <laughs> Or the same satisfaction that you get when you finish an entire diamond painting so just so you know that's the the idea so it's really challenging but it's fun and uh, well guys I'm just going to continue I hope you'll follow along um, let me know what you think in the comments below it's really beautiful it really will be stunning once it's done but <laughs> it's going to be a while look because we've got that row to go then a whole other row to go and then a small part just small wins each page that gets done and the end result will be stunning and it will be quite unique i haven't seen this diamond or this piece been done before in a diamond painting and i'm wondering if we get to see the clover already in the current page or if that's in the page underneath it but we'll see in the next update I'll be able to show you we'll definitely have that butterfly in there and well I don't think we already have the beginning of her face I really think that's the next page <gasps> yay right guys let me know what you think if you like this update please give me a thumbs up Thanks for following along and cheering me on. And if you've got any question regarding this project, leave them in the comments below as well. Right guys, 
Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!